sweet friends, this video is about bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. Would spring home decor. Of course, this is part of the what would you make. This is okay at home DIY. And I am Zaina. I had this old chair actually picked up from the side of the road and when I picked it up, I broke it. So I decided I'm going to use the spindles. Just taking my jigsaw and removing the spindles the best I can, I realized that no matter what I did with my jigsaw, I was not going to get a nice flat line. So these could actually, actually be used as like, you know, something that balances. So I took them on over to my miter saw and chopped off the ends to give me even surfaces to balance. Next, I came in with my hot glue and a Dollar Tree round. I filled in that little hole back there so when I painted it, you wouldn't can tell as well. And I am just hot gluing these spindles to the center. Then I just take my white chalk paint and give that a good coat. Next, I'm going to Mod Podge some napkins. I have a napkin video. I'll link it down in my description box below. Now I'm hooked on napkins. I purchased these napkins at Tuesday mornings and I love this pattern. So I'm coating my bunny here. This wood bunny is from Dollar Tree. And now I'm just taking my napkin and putting it on top. This is such a beautiful and green and white pattern. I didn't even paint my bunny. I just put this right on top. I think this reminds me of the Sound of Music curtains where she makes the play clothes out of. Anyways, so I go ahead and do that. Make sure all the bubbles are out and the wrinkles are minimal. And then I come back in to get this nice precise cut. I am just using some sandpaper. I did realize though if I cut my sandpaper the shape of the bunny, it was easier to deal with than just go up coming in with the sandpaper. But I got all my angles with this beautiful piece. It's just 120 grit. And then I come back in with this matte Mod Podge. That's the sheen I like. You can use any gloss, that, any sheen you want. But I wanted to make sure I got the edges so everything matched. After that was all dry, I just come in with some more hot glue and I'm hot gluing my bunnies. I found out that this is better this way, that you just hot glue it laying down and then let it set and cool and you got these beautiful bunnies. This video is part of the What Would You Make open invite playlist. It is linked in my description box below. I host this every month with my talented friend Connie over at Connie's Creative Creations. She will be linked in the description box below and our wonderful guest host this month is Marika Creations. She is super talented. So make sure you check out these ladies channels and the playlist for more wood DIYs. Let's get back into it. Taking these bunnies from Dollar Tree, painted them with white chalk paint. Next, I'm coming in with this beautiful napkin. Of course, the first DIY and this DIY, I separate the ply, so I just get the printed ply and not the plain. And then I coat them with Mod Podge as well. I'm just gonna use one napkin. This These napkins came from Tuesday mornings. These are so beautiful. I have been looking for blue and white napkins for forever, for years. And so I found these beautiful ones and you know I'm going to be using them. So covered those bunnies pretty much the same way. Covered the first ones. And then next I am taking this napkin and I traced a circle out. Cutting a circle and then I'm going to cut the inner out so I can make an O. I'm going to go through the steps with you, but I'm going to tell you. I wasn't so hot with how this part turned out. So I took this wood round. I painted the front of this wood round with uh, white chalk paint and then I hot glued this on. I think if I did this again in the future, I would just cover the whole round and let that be the O. So I'm going to come back in over these bunnies. I did make a mistake and I'm doing this without a top coat of Mod Podge, but I traced out what I wanted to, the shape of the letter I wanted was H. And then I came back in with my beautiful markers that I got from Hippie Crafter. I will link them in the description box below. And I put on H and P because these little bunnies are going to spell out the word hop. Next, I traced out my letter O. Again, I would say I probably will go back and fix that. 
Then I'm using decor chalk paint for the first time. I went to the Pop Shelf store. This is actually a store that Dollar General owns and they have art supplies. I only bought that whole thing, eight ounces for five bucks. So I thought that was a good deal. And it's in the color Honor. This is a bright, beautiful blue. I thought it fit these napkins perfectly. Now this wood piece is a two by two and I just cut it uh, down to fit the bunny and the wood round. After that, just hot glued all these pieces on and you've got a fun spring wood decor sign that says hop. I took inspiration from Antique Farmhouse's Leaping Bunny for this one. So first I'm gonna make a stand. I like spindles, so I'm making mine with a spindle. The one Antique Farmhouse had just a straight up and down dowel. And then I just attached the spindle to a round surface. This is a wreath charm from Dollar Tree. You can use a wood round if you like. And then my Leaping Bunny is from Dollar Tree as well. This is not wood, it's cardboard. So I painted it with, white chalk paint and then coming back and just distressing the bunny with whatever is left on my brush. Now I'm just using whatever's left on my brush and I'm getting kind of the outline of the bunny so that kind of pops and then I come back in and I'm going to hot glue this stand much the same way as I did the first three bunnies and I absolutely love it. I'm starting out this wood round door hanger with creating my bunny ears. Now I'm taking an old wire wreath form and I'm bending out some bunny ears. Then I'm taking my wire cutters and I'm bending back and forth and that breaks those ears quickly. Using this calendar page and cutting it just below and above the hello spring. Next I take that right over to my Dollar Tree wood round and I'm taping off the the, the size of that sign, Hello Spring. Next, I'm coming in with some celery chalk paint and taking that right on off. I took taped down my carbon paper with the black side facing down and then my Hello Spring sign, I am ta taped that down as well. Now I'm just tracing out all the letters. This took a little bit, but it was very therapeutic and I really liked doing it this way. Yes, they could have cut a Cricut thing out, but I I think this is this is neat to do something other than make a sign with a stencil from the Cricut. Although I love my Cricut, it's just another way to do it. Coming back in with my Hippie Crafter marker. Just this is a black one. I'll link down in the description box below all of the markers that I have. It comes in a set and they are beautiful, bold colors and you don't have to trace over it to get a lot of pigment. You just kind of shake it 10 times to, to stir everything up and then you prime it and now you can get to your project. So I just absolutely love this process. It was very therapeutic, like I said, and I just took my time tracing it out. Now, did I do it perfectly? No, I just kind of let my pen flow and create the letters and let those other lines guide me and then I just made sure all those lines were covered up that's what I did next I'm going to take my staple gun and staple just the center too now my staples are way too long I actually stapled it to the board so pried that off come came back with my needle nose pliers and I just clipped off the length that was too long and then I ended up bending the bits back in the back just in case you have that problem that's why I wanted to show you what I did here 
Next, I am taking this greenery. I purchased this from Dollar General. It's their Christmas lamb's ear. I thought, hey, lamb's ear can be any season. So I bought that for like, it was $2, but I got on the clearance. I think I got it for like 60 cents, honestly. It was looking a little rough, so I just shaped it a little bit, and then I hot glued it. I really wanted to staple everything down, but since this wood ground is so thin, it just wasn't going to work out. Next, I'm coming in with these beautiful roses, and I got the inspiration from the watercolor bunny's crown, and I just used some different roses from Dollar Tree, hot glued them down, and this beautiful Hello Spring sign is done. I hope you have liked all this bunny decor spring inspiration. I'm all about bunnies this year. I don't know. Sorry if I bunnied you out. But this, I just love that door hanger. I think the door hanger and those bunnies on the stand with the green are my absolute favorite. But of course, I love them all. Say, so if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. As well as please check out that one which you make playlist down in the description box below. These women work so hard and they make such inspiring DIYs, wood projects that I think you will absolutely get a ton of inspiration. And if you haven't already, I would love to invite you to subscribe and become a part of our crafting community. So until the next time, everyone, you have a good one. Bye.